This is the Men of High Value channel. My name is Joseph Darling. What I want to share with you guys today is about money, capital, and how this all works together with you wanting to be of benefit to others, of benefit to society, while at the same time you've got your selfish motives and desires and dreams and goals that you want to achieve. How does this all come together? How does this all work? Because we care about what the universe thinks, we care about what God thinks, we care about uh, you know, us being of, of a positive influence and benefit to the whole world around us. We want to make it better. So how does that work? Because there's so many people today, because of religion, because we've been raised with it, that people believe that money is bad, or money is evil, or that becoming rich is evil, or that the wealthy are selfish people, that if they just shared their wealth, then no one would be poor blah 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 okay so let's look at it from this perspective first of all when you think about jeff bezos you think about a guy who has 150 billion dollars in net worth and then you're like what if he just instead used that money and fixed a lot of water in uh, africa and then it would help millions of people and and he would have been like, why doesn't he do that? Well, understand that first of all, he doesn't have that money in cash. Okay? He doesn't have it. Now, he could get it if he wanted to, if he sold all of his shares in Amazon, he would have the cash. But it doesn't work that way. Think about it. He wants his business to become bigger and bigger because it increases his power and ability to do. Now, to do what? Well, we don't know. He's a complete person for himself. But think about what Jeff Bezos has done for the human world and for Americans and Europeans and people everywhere. One, he's made it possible for people to get pretty much anything that they desire within a very short amount of time. And he's created a system where more than, what, 400,000 people have jobs. Some of them are low paid jobs, but if they were so low paid that it didn't produce any form of income for them and they were within the poverty line, all that stuff that people are talking about, then people would quit and find something else and that would be bad for Amazon's business. But he's increased the minimum wage as well now and basically he's creating this massive conglomerate and it's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? Now, if the government, however, puts together a bunch of laws that makes it so that all these massive businesses don't have any competition because they're the only people who can afford understanding the laws and the regulations and can afford the lawyers necessary to do so, yeah, that sucks. But that's not the businesses that create capital that do that. That's the government. So if we understand this fact, then becoming rich is absolutely fantastic because what you're doing is you're doing a service to your fellow human beings that they are willing to pay for, which means that you've created something that you've invested your time into something that actually brings money back to you, a profit, which you can then invest into other people and other projects and other systems again. So basically, the investment that Jeff Bezos did one time is paying itself back a thousand, ten thousand, and a hundred thousand fold. We understand also the principle from the Friends episode, I think it's the third episode or something, where Phoebe is talking to Joey and Joey is telling her that there's no such thing as a selfless act. And she basically for several days throughout the entire episode is trying to prove that there is such a thing as a selfless act. But she keeps getting karma coming back to her all the time, all these good things happening to her. This is pretty much what I believe in, that the more good you do to other people, the more will come back and you can't fight it. It's just automatic. That's how the universe works, which is fantastic. Which means that every single time that you're doing something for someone else, guess what? You're gonna be beneficial from that. So, 
Would you rather be a person that solves a problem for one person or two people or five people on a daily basis? Or do you want to create systems with people or, or whatever it is that serve millions of people every single day and literally change society into something better? Okay, if you find something that people are willing to pay for that you know is beneficial to them and the whole world around us, then do it. It's your duty, it's your job, it's your responsibility to succeed at a massive level and do it at a massive profit so that you can reinvest that money that you get in profit into the same business to make it even bigger and stronger or in a new business project because you believe that this other thing is also critically important and it needs to get done. Do you understand the point that it's fantastic to become rich? Why? Because you are in the service of your fellow being when you are becoming rich. You literally are producing a product or, or service that is blessing the lives of millions of people. And you're going to the rejection of, of, of people not purchasing your product and service and you keep on trying, keep on trying because you know that it's going to benefit them and you know it's going to benefit you and so you keep going, you keep going, you keep going and because you keep going, going through the rejection, you're becoming a stronger, more emotionally capable human being who is able to serve people at a higher level, at a better level and who continuously is servicing millions of people because of his influence in other people's lives. Your ability to set up business teams all over the world that service millions and millions and millions of people is what this movement is all about. Okay? If you understand business, if you understand money, if you understand capital, if you understand that giving people jobs, even at a low paying rate, is better than people not having jobs at all, and it's better than you just having a normal job yourself, right? It's selfish to just keep a small job for the rest of your life. It is selfish to, to not self-improve yourself to become better so that you can service millions of people instead of serving just five or ten people per day. What it's all about is putting teams of people in action, taking massive action towards a vision, towards a goal that should be a goal that we all should move towards because it's the right thing for humanity. It's the right thing to do. That's what I'm talking about here. And that's what I'm fired up about is people understanding the concept that money is fantastic. Capital is amazing. And God made it such... He created an amazing system. I love this system. I love this plan because he's made it so that money is... Is it, 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 it's not even money that's important. He's created a system whereby people exchange services and products one with another. Money doesn't even, is, is just a medium of exchange that people agree on is worth something, which is actually worthless, but people agree together with the government that this paper is money that we exchange in order for things to be made easier, right? Okay, if I have a job, which I don't, but if I was to have a job, this is one of my small incremental steps towards serving millions of people, okay? Right now, because of my lack of skills, because of my lack of leadership, because of my lack of everything, of who, who I would be at that moment in time, I'm doing an extremely important work because I am helping a, a business or a conglomerate to serve people and I'm doing it at the lowest cost for that business possible so that that business can live on forever. If it's not making a profit, that business will be gone. And if that business is gone, suddenly that service 
or product that they were selling also will be gone and and then you lose your job right like people don't think about the fact that it's a good thing for there to be low human costs because if if people cost too much then we're destroying our planet let me give you an example of this uh, of this okay i live in georgia right now the human costs basically here in georgia is like 80 percent less than what it is in norway as an example does that mean that the people in georgia are 80 percent worse than the people in norway not at all it's simply that norway has massively increased taxes over time this day and age man it's more of an issue than it's ever been and it's increasing human cost which basically means that in Norway, as an example, they never fix anything. Instead of fixing something because it's so expensive with humans who fix stuff, they instead, the, the consumer has to buy new products again and again and again and again. That's how we get the consumption world that we live in today, where plastic is just thrown everywhere and all that stuff and is bad for the environment, blah, blah, blah. And in Georgia, though, there are actually people who fix stuff. Like there's, the, and it's on every corner. People who fix your computer, people who fix your fridge, people who fix this, that, and the other, your car, and all that stuff. It's amazing. I just wanted to share with you guys my view on human capital, why money is absolutely fantastic, why, why God has and, and the universe has put this system in place is for our benefit. It is fantastic to be selfishly moving towards your dreams and goals because there's no such thing as a selfless act whenever you serve another human being and making money on it, as long as you're being honest and as long as you're thinking in the long term and you're putting people first before money, it's a fantastic thing that you're doing. Think about it this way. People live forever, okay? Their souls live forever. Money, however, is just a medium of, ex of exchange. And it's a short-term gain, right? You can't bring money with you, but you can bring people with you. Okay, so always put m people first, but always make sure that there is a profit. Long-term gain, which is developing teams of people, that's the long-term gain you desire, over short-term gain every single time. And if you don't do that, it doesn't matter. You will be rewarded accordingly. But if you put the long term first, your reward will be endless. This is the Men of High Value channel. My name is Joseph Darling. I'll see you in the next video.